What's good guys, it's your boy Fresh Dex in the flesh back at it again with another banger, banger, banger. Make sure you go ahead and comment, like this video right now currently. Subscribe to the channel if you're new because we talk about dreadlock content. Boy! That being said, man, all y'all boys and girls already read the title of this video, man. Today's video, we are going to be doing a little bit of a versus battle. The towel run method versus the dreadlock sponge method. Which method is the best for starting off your dreadlock journey? All right, guys, before I begin this video, I'd like to give a huge shout out to my boy Kendall Pringle for bringing up this video idea. He asked me this question in the comment section down below. So if you guys have any questions that's interesting, you know what I mean, in the comment section down below, I'll be glad to make it into a video for you guys just to inform y'all on interesting topics and just make it into a video, you dig? So anyway, shout out to you, bro. All right, guys, so to begin this video, let's talk about the pros and cons when it comes to the towel wrap method. So the pros when it comes to the towel wrap method, in my opinion, is getting your hair to look similar to NBA Youngboy, Young Nudie, 21 Savage. You can get some nice, skinny, coarse dreadlocks, very versatile, you know what I mean? If you guys have any other pros, let me know something in the comment section down below, but that's the only thing I can really think of because I never use that method personally. So let's get into the cons. So the cons when it comes to the towel rub method will definitely be that you can't really determine what your parting system is going to be. It's going to be sort of like a surprise once you begin to transition to getting traditional dreadlocks. Of course, because you start off with semi freeform route. But the second con, to me, in my opinion, will definitely be a lot of friction. And a lot of friction that translates to a uh, high risk of breakage because it's a lot of hand on the scalp movement and the hand cloth is so thin that it doesn't really give you a space you know in between while you're doing the circular motion on your whole entire head you feel me so high risk of friction will definitely be a con for me uh so third con for me will be having skinny dreadlocks because <laughs> i'm not really a big fan of skinny dreadlocks personally but y'all might consider it a pro but oh well to each his own but yeah having skinny dreadlocks will definitely be a con for me so if you don't want skinny dreadlocks and you want a thicker set of dreadlocks do not go with the towel rub method and that being said that's all the pros and cons when it comes to the towel rub method in my honest opinion that being said, that leads me to the dreadlock sponge pros and cons. Let's talk about that. All right, so we're going to begin talking about the pros and then talk about the cons, of course. So to begin with, the pros when it comes to the dreadlock sponge, to me, in my honest opinion, it will be less friction on the scalp because it's foam separating the hand from the scalp. So that's way more beneficial than using the towel rub method. All right, so let's get into the second pro when it comes to the dreadlock sponge method. So you'll be able to determine your foundation way faster. You feel me? You're going to be able to form it a lot faster than the towel rub method as a whole because it has holes and everything in the dreadlock sponge that basically creates um, a foundation a lot faster than using a towel rub method with no holes or anything built into it you feel me so if you want to get your hair to have that sponge like look you feel me to your hair definitely go with the dreadlock sponge method and then you'll be able to separate your hair a lot easier too once you do the dreadlock sponge method all the way to the scalp so i definitely would consider that a pro most definitely you feel what i'm saying you did so anyways the third pro when it comes to drill light sponge method i will definitely say is you can maintain some thicker healthier dreadlocks so if you want some thicker healthier dreadlocks make sure you use the big hole side of course no brainer and you will be able to maintain some thicker healthier dreadlocks compared to the towel rub method of course so that will be all the pros when it comes to the dreadlock sponge method you did you feel what i'm saying so anyways, let's go ahead and transition to the cons of using the dreadlock sponge method. So I ain't gonna cap. Maybe I'm a little biased because all I did was use the dreadlock sponge method. I never really tried out the towel rub method, 
But in my honest opinion, I don't feel like there's much cons to the dreadlock sponge method. But all I will say is, based off rumors, this is not determined for myself, you know what I mean? But a lot of people say that they hair fall out low key, you feel me? Using a dreadlock sponge way too consistently. But I feel like that's the fault on the user. So maybe I'll just put that in the cons just, just because, I guess. You feel what I'm saying? So anyways, uh, another con of using a dreadlock sponge will be you can't determine how your parting system will look. You feel me? All you can do is just separate your hair and pray that your parting system looks dope when it gets retwisted, when you transition to having traditional looking dreadlocks. The same with a towel wrap method because you starting off semi free form. So what do you expect? You know what I mean? All right, so a third kind would be, hmm, what would be a third kind? <laughs> you feel what I'm saying? All right, third kind would be over time, your dreadlock sponge will break on you. You know what I mean? Like you will have to keep buying more dreadlock sponge. So cost reasons wise, it can be, you know, it can be some money. You know what I mean? You have to pay a little more using a dreadlock sponge than you'll be with the towel rub method. You know, towel rub method, you can go to any Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Family Dollar, whatever, et cetera, et cetera. And then go ahead and get your microfiber hand cloth towel. But with the dreadlock sponge method, you have to go to specific areas and you have to go to uh, places like Amazon and purchase a dreadlock sponge. And some of them cost a lot of money, some of them cheaper, but over time using it consistently can deteriorate your dreadlock sponge. That's just how it works. You know, you overuse the product, you have to buy a new one, you feel? So that being said, it's your boy Fresh Dex in the flesh. I feel like that's all my cons to be honest with you. And I hope all you guys enjoyed this video. Hope it was very informative. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. On the road to 3K! All right. Peace.